Hi, boys and girls. This is Miss Minnie. I'm here with this uh, week's lesson. Um, the title of the lesson is Tell the Good News. Okay. Uh, you know that there's uh, uh, a, a terrible sickness all over the world. It's coronavirus. Yes. And um, let's pretend... Uh, that suddenly you discovered that there's a cure for their, that sickness. Now, what do you think would happen in the newspapers and the news on TV? Oh, yeah. <laughs> There'd be a big headline in the newspaper that said, what? Oh, cure discovered. Maybe they'll write your name. But nevertheless, the most important thing is that there's a cure that has been discovered. And it's all over the newspapers and everything. You know what? You and I have a better news than that. We have the greatest news. You know what that is? Jesus loves you! Yeah, and we need to to tell the world about that, about Jesus, and uh, that the 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 greatest news that there is, and um, that Jesus loves everybody in the whole world, and uh, and Matthew twenty eight nineteen, this is what Jesus tells you and me. It says, therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. Matthew 28, 19. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. Matthew 28, 19. Let's say, repeat this with me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. Matthew 28, 19. What? You have to go all nations? You're too little to travel all over the, the world, right? Yeah, you can't just get on an airplane and go to China and Africa and Cuba and... No, but that's not what it really says. What it really says is, therefore, go as you go, okay? There's a lot of people from China, from India, from Cuba, from all over the place, or the world, and they live around here. They might go to your school, or they're there at the water park, or at the swimming pool, or um, wherever we go. There's people from all over the world. And so those are the ones that we make disciples of all nations. And that's what it means. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. And we can deliver the good news of Jesus every single day. And you know what? We do it by showing others that Jesus loves them. And, and we can show them by what we say and what we do. Uh huh. Because, you know, if you're polite and you say thank you and you say please and, 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 and you're, um, you, you, you let other um, children uh, be first, you tell them, oh, uh, you you can go first, or um, yeah, let's play the video game that you like. Not just what we like all the time, but just be nice to the people. And then they wonder, huh, why is this boy or this girl, uh, are, are, they're so nice and so polite. And they might even ask you. And then what are you going to tell them? Jesus loves you. 
Yeah, the good news. Yeah, yeah. And so um, the Bible says more of a little bit more about telling others about the good news uh, of Jesus. Let's open our Bibles to Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 uh, to 20. And it says, and the title in my Bible says, The Great Commission. That means that it's the the big command that that Jesus gave. And, and, and listen to what it says. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Wow. Now, that's in found in Matthew 28, verses 16 to 20. Now, what promise does Jesus give along with this command? Uh-huh. That he will be with you. This is, I will be with you always until the end of the age, until the end of the world. He will be with you. So, as you go along and you are... Uh, showing Jesus' love to other people and telling them about the love of Jesus, who's going to be there? Jesus with you, because he promised that he would be with us. And uh, he told us to make disciples. Now, what does that mean, disciples? We already talked about that. That means that they follow Jesus they do what Jesus wants them to do. They live like Jesus lived. Uh-huh. Because we, um, he wants us to follow him, to do what he, the way he lives, and what makes him happy. So, um, Jesus wants all of us to follow him. You know, I said that there, uh, we were talking about this illness that's in all over the world, but there's a greater illness. And that's why Jesus told us to uh, um, go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations. Because this sickness that is not just, you know, like this, the coronavirus, that's on some people and some people don't have the sickness, I, and you don't probably don't have it either, and I hope we don't get it. And uh, But there's an illness that everybody, and that is sin. And we already talked sin is when we disobey God and when we do things that do not make Jesus happy. And that's sin. And that's the illness, the sickness that's all over the world. But Jesus wants to cure it. And how? Well, he came to this world. And he lived and, and, and did a lot of miracles. And he died on the cross. And then he came alive on the third day. And he did that because he loved us so much. And so 
He died for you and me so that we can be forgiven. And all we have to do is what? And that's what we need to tell the other, the other people, that he did that, that he died and came alive because he loved us. And if we ask him to forgive us, he will forgive us. We ask him and tell him that we're sorry that we we have been disobeying him and, and we do things that do not make him happy. And so we tell him to, to, to forgive us, and he does. And then we ask him to come into our hearts and into our lives. And when we make disciples of these people, we tell them all that, and then we say, you need to, to know what Jesus, uh, uh, who he is, and all. you need to read the Bible, and you need to pray, and not only read it, but study the Bible, and pray, and worship him, so you can invite him. When we go back to church, he says, you can come to my church with me, and uh, you will learn more about Jesus at church because we sing songs that tell about the love of Jesus and uh, we pray there, we read the Bible, we study it. There's teachers like Miss Minnie <laughs> and uh, other teachers that, that teach us about more about Jesus. So you tell them that and you that way you, you're making them a disciple, people that can follow Jesus. And so uh, we, we make the disciples that Jesus told us to make. So Jesus has given us a fantastic gift to share with everyone. And God loved us so much that his son Jesus died for our sins and rose again. And the story of Jesus Jesus is a gift that can be shared with everyone. And we can share it by what we say and how we act and how we help others and how we care for others. When we do this, we share the great gift that God has given us. And we're telling the good news about Jesus. Isn't that wonderful that we can do that? And and Jesus gave us that command that he asked us to do that. He told us to do that. And so we need to 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 do that and, and tell others and make the disciples teach them more about Jesus. And they can learn from just the way we act, the way you act. The things that you say, you don't say bad words. You're not telling lies. Uh, you, you're very polite, uh, and and that shows them that there's that Jesus is, lives in you. That's in you, and the Holy Spirit is in you, and that's why you you act that way. That's why you talk that way. That's why you care about them and love them also. And that's why you want to tell them the good news about Jesus and how much he loves us. So there you go. You can teach them. You can make disciples. And what is the verse? Hmm? Go. I mean, therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. Matthew 28. Uh, 19. Okay? Let's do it. repeat it again. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. Matthew 28, 19. So we're telling the good news. And we can just, I mean, if we could stand on top of a mountain, um, we could yell it out and tell everybody, we won't do that. We can just 
show it, show the love of God in us, and then tell them about how God, how Jesus loved them and how he died for, for you and for me and for them and the other people and how much he loves us. That's the greatest news that we can give to the whole world. So I hope that you can uh, have an opportunity to do that this week and that you can tell others the good news. That's why we call it the good news, because it is good news. Yeah, it sure is. So I hope you have an uh, uh, opportunity to do that. And uh, now that we're coming out, we can go maybe to water parks or to the pool or um, places that we can go. And uh, maybe when school's supposed to start in August or September, that we can go, that you can go back to school. And uh, as you study and play with the children at school, and uh, uh, you, can, you can tell them, you can show them and tell them the good news. Okay? So... Um, I just hope I don't have a song. I was going to learn a song, something about go telling on the mountain, but I, I, I don't know all the words, so I'm not going to sing it all. <laughs> I forgot I was going to learn it. Maybe next time we'll, I'll uh, learn it and, uh, and we can, we can uh, sing it together. Okay? So... Have a great week. I love you. I'm praying for you. You pray for me. And soon we'll be seeing each other. Uh, I don't know if you're you're going to go to church this Sunday. Um, maybe your parents will go, or one of your parents. I don't know. Uh, I'm too old to go, but... <laughs> Because uh, they say that, so I have to take care of myself, and take care of the other people too, that nobody gets sick. So pray for the services this Sunday that some people are going to go back to church and uh, that nobody will get sick and that everybody will be happy. And they will also tell the good news to all nations. Okay? God bless you. I love you. And have a great week. Bye-bye.